Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets, carrying on with more Amai Boiku's collaboration beers that they uh, did for their Amai Kena Day uh, this year. They do the American collabs every year, and this is the next one. We've had four so far, and so far, so good. So, this one sounds pretty interesting. We thought we'd take a break from the IPAs because most of the beers this year is IPAs, and I don't complain about that because I do love IPA. But this sounds pretty interesting. This is a collab with a brewery I've never heard of before called uh, Hermit Thrush in Vermont. And this is uh, the Amma Borkus and Hermit Thrush Bees for My Honey Rye Braggot on 9%. So it's a braggot. If you don't know braggot, it's kind of like a mead and beer hybrid uh, style, very old style beer. So apparently the guys from Hermit Thrush were going to Europe on a trip and they wanted to stop by Amma Borkus to see a brew day, but they ended up doing a collaboration instead and they talked talk about what they adored locally and each of them and apparently it was honey and they were like, hey, let's make a braggot. And I don't think Amma's ever done a braggot as far as I know, but this should be fun. So this uh, braggot here is made with barley malt, pilsner, golden promise, Munich, low crystal, milanoidin and rye malt, hence it being a rye braggot, and honey. And the hops are Columbus, Citra, and Vanguard, and they use farmhouse ale yeast. So this sounds interesting. I really like mead. I'm really getting more and more into mead. Um, for example, Superstition Meadery, they're making some great stuff. I have some mead from Mjöderid in Norway to review. Uh, Sati Bahia is doing great mead. I should do some more mead reviews as well. But in the glass, it kind of looks like a New England IPA. <laughs> Haze with days. It's a super hazy, dark, dark orange color. Uh, looks nice in the glass, kind of a white head to it. I wonder if this is going to be hoppy with uh, those hops in there. It's Citra and with Vanguard. I've never had Vanguard hops, I think. I'm not sure, but hey, we'll find out. But nice color. Let's check out the aroma on the bees for my honey. Hmm. It smells kind of like a Saison. I guess that's because of the farmhouse yeast. And floral. Like flower, wildflower honey or something like that. It's not, I'm not, I'm, there is honey in there, but I'm not getting like, like intense, sweet, 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 sweet honey. And maybe it's got some bubblegum, spearmint bubblegum. Mmm. Yeah, sweet malt. Kind of caramel, spicy rye. Mmm, smells pretty interesting. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Hmm, no way near as sweet as I thought it'd be. Because when I think braggot, I think big, sweet honey flavors. This is quite like, yeah, farmhouse-y as the label. It tastes like a farmhouse ale, I think. Big, kind of dry, peppery aftertaste right now. Like, tons of phenolics. A little bit of warming alcohol. I don't know the hoppiness in there. I'm not, maybe there's a little bit of a citra, like the sweetness of citra, but not like popping citra flavor. And then it kind of wraps around with that kind of spearminty, bubblegum flavor, and um, some peppery notes. And there is that wildflower honey, but it's not like sickingly sweet honey. There's definitely honey flavor in there, but it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's that wildflower honey note. The more I drink on it, the more I get it. Some sweet maltiness, quite floral, quite fruity, citric, warming alcohol. Yeah, it's nice. It's nothing that's blowing my mind or anything, but it's totally not what I expected. I expected like big, sweet, almost meat-like flavors, but it's not like that at all. Mm. I like it though. Quite refreshing for a 9% beer. Fun stuff. So. And on the back end as well, you get that kind of like spicy rye flavor too. It's kind of like almost you took a farmhouse or a, Saison, a farmhouse ale or like Belgian Saison or some kind of like Belgian beer in general, and then you gave it some sweet honey flavors and whatnot. But it's an interesting beer for sure. But yeah, I'm not like super into it, but still worth a shot, I'd say. So uh, rain wise for the Alma Bocuse and Hermit Thrush Bees for My Honey Rye Braggot. Thinking like an 87. Yeah. It's tasty stuff. It's just a bit different, I guess. <laughs> a weird. I, I don't know how to say weird, but just different flavors, and especially compared to what I expected. But still worth a shot, as I said. Uh, if you could get it, definitely try it out. If you had a chance to try it, definitely let me know what you thought of it, guys. And uh, 
As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers. I'll see you guys in another video review.